Hello Inventors, now you can earn money using MIT App Inventor apps. So there is one extension that is called Free AdMob Extension. Using that AdMob extension, you can display real AdMob ads in your MIT App Inventor apps and you can earn money. So in this video, I will show you how we can implement that ads step by step. So let's start step by step. So first of all, we need to click on start new project and my project name is IMP implement ads and OK. You can implement all these ads in your project. OK, so first we need to in install or we need to download one extension. OK, so that extension is free ad move extension. This extension is developed by Osemia. OK, and we are really thankful for this developer. First of all, we need to open this extension link. I will give you that url in the description now open this and we need to download this latest add move sdk extension so click on this and it's downloaded now go to the mit app inventor in the left side you will find the extensions click on this click on import extension and import that extension here and just import it you can create some basic things in your app suppose like uh, you can create one basic uh, user interface so like layout you can use vertical arrangement and make it fit and hide as fill parent like this and make this background color something change to custom like this and now here you can use one image here like this or you can use some text it means you can use some label you can use one image here like picture click on upload file click on choose file so that's the simple and slower app okay there is nothing okay it's just a ball app now what we will do here we need to display here ads so as you can see here we have uploaded one extension here this one just drag and drop that extension here i'm going to resize that ball like 100 100 okay like this cool now what i will do here go to the block section and click on screen and as you can see the van screen one in a slice click on add move sdk and as you can see add move sdk and a slice sdk just call this method like this so this is done so now let's go to the add move extension here now scroll down okay now we need to create one basic extension it's a really very simple extension so what we will do we will need to open ide.neutron.com open this link like this and we need to create one basic project so click on create new project and our project name is make sure the first letter should be capital so suppose ads okay app inventor like this and the project name is like uh, app dot inventor dot ads app inventor okay and then just click on continue okay it's done now wait some second and now we need to paste some code we need to implement some code here so go to the again this extension link and here scroll down and we need to add this i this line okay we need to import okay this android manifest files so go to the neutron id and here you need to import this after importing all files here you can see so don't delete any files okay just paste this file here like this import done now go again and we need to copy this okay and make sure that we need to add this line after user permission so copy this go to the neutron id and as you can see the user permission is there in the 24th line okay paste this and just like this paste it now as you can see here we need to put your app id in the last video we have done one mistake like uh, we have added here the unit id but we need to use here app id okay so go to here see as you can see so now we need to open our add move account if you don't have add move account so make sure you have to create add move account first so i already have that add move account now we need to click on first add app okay so click on this as you can see the platform is android and is this listed on the supported app store till now no you can add this yes if you already have uploaded that app in the play store then click on continue and then app name is suppose app inventor ball app okay and then click on add app 
wait some seconds and now click on done so now in the left side you'll find add app setting see this one app setting click on this and as you can see here the app id okay so this is the app id we have to add in our extension here okay this is your app id we have to add this here like this but make sure as you can see here the approval status is required review it means this app will not display the ads it's take some time okay it's take some time to display ads so what i will do i already have created some apps so i'm going to use this 3d wallpaper app that we already have created so click on app setting so as you can see the approval status is ready it means this app will display the ads so we need to copy this app id okay like this go here and make sure you have to paste that id here like this it's done so we have added one line this here and we have added just one this app id here and we need to click on save okay and then click on compile extension and wait some seconds yes aix file is downloaded go to the mit app inventor click on import extension and import that file aix file here and just import it now drag and drop that extension here like this we need to display here three ads so first we will display banner ads so go to the extension link here and scroll down and as you can see the ad formats so just click on this and as you can see add more banner ads so we need to download add more banner extension this one click on this wait some seconds to download the aix file of banner ads done go to mit app inventor click on import extension and import that aix file here and just import it now drag and drop this add more banner ads here now we need to put add unit id here okay this is the add unit id so go to the add move and go to the add units here and we need to click on add add unit okay so click on this and we have a lot of options so we have to use banner so this select this banner and my banner id is new banner okay id unit id and then click on create add-in you can put any name here like this and just done this now we have created one this here you can see new banner unit id this one we have created so as you can see app unit id is here just open this okay just copy this and go to here and paste this here like this okay you can select the test mode okay because we are testing this app right now okay so i have selected this test mode go to the block here and now go to the design we will display that ad on the button click so click on user interface and we will use here three buttons okay so suppose this display banner ads like this okay and i will change that color or something from here so this will display banner ads so i will just copy and paste okay and this will display interstitial app ads so shell ads and uh, this will display rewarded ads right now we have three ads here now i will change that all button colors this okay so we have three buttons here now go to the uh, now we just need to use here one layout click on layout and as you can see the vertical arrangement or you can use horizontal arrangement so i will use horizontal arrangement and make this with this fill parent like this okay so we will display our banner ad here now go to the block and whenever someone click on button one okay so first of all we need to load banner so click on banner okay as you can see the add move banner this one so you will find the load banner ad size this one okay so call this here and the ad size is click on add banner again and you will find the id like size is banner size this one this will display the banner size after loading that ad we will display that ad okay so how we can do this click on add banner and you will find the method here when ad is loaded okay when the ad is loaded so click on again add banner and see the show banner and where we need to show our banner in the layout so we will use your horizontal arrangement so we will display our ads in horizontal arrangement like this here cool so now we need to display the interstitial ads so how we can do this so go to the design go to the add move extension link here and then use there this one second one open this and we need to download the extension again 
okay wait some seconds go to the mit app inventor it's a very simple process go to the extension click on import extension drag and drop that file here click on import see imported the drag and drop this file here we need to put add unit id here okay add unit id so go to the add move again click on add unit id select this add second one select enter is interstitial adds new then click on create add id click on done open this interstitial adds new and as you can see this one id just copy this go here and put add unit id here okay as you can see the add unit id is here unit id add unit id setting now this is also a test add go to the block section whenever someone click on button 2 okay button 2 whenever someone click on so click on that add interstitial add this one and you will find the option of load this one load interstitial add this one and after loading after loading we have to display this add loaded okay then we will display this and this is the show add we don't need to uh, actually specify the arrangement because this will display in the whole screen okay second is done now we need to use third one so go again extension link and click on this rewarded add and we need to download again extension go to the okay wait some seconds go to the mit app inventor now go to the design section click on import extension import that extension here just drag and drop that add more rewarded ads we need to put the add unit id again here for rewarded ads so click on add unit id select the rewarded make sure there's two things rewarded interstitial ads and rewarded so we have to, we have to select rewarded okay because we have one more option here in this like fourth one is rewarded interstitial ads but we are using your rewarded ads so make sure choose fourth one rewarded and add unit name so rewarded ads so new as you can see rewarded ad amount what is this the amount is like suppose we are playing some animation game suppose this one is ball game okay we are playing this game suppose we have four chance to hit that ball okay so what we will do we will use your rewarded ads so whenever someone watch that rewarded ads so we will give them some points so we will reward them with the some points like one point ten points or five points okay so that's where we we should use rewarded ads so that's the concept of rewarded ads so what we will do here as you can see here they are asking us enter the rewarded amount so we will give them like 10 points okay and rewarded item this is the uh, rewarded item name okay and simply and just click on create ad unit so whenever someone whenever they watch the rewarded ads okay or uh, rewarded ads they will get 10 points or 10 rewarded amount so click on create ad unit wait some seconds then done then you'll find rewarded ads new okay just copy this add unit id go here rewarded ad just copy paste here and make sure this is also test mode cool go to the block again someone click on three button okay or you can use condition because we have used uh, use some here button whenever someone click on button then we will display the ads we can use some condition like uh, after the four chance after the two minutes after the three minutes you can do accordingly right so whenever someone click on button three so rewarded ads we have to display so first of all we have to load this okay after loading as you can see add loaded then we will display that ad a show ad something like this now we have to do one thing here click on again and as you can see add loaded okay as see got rewarded item got rewarded item whenever they watch this ad so we will display that amount okay go to the designer and use an user interface go to the label and i'm going to use here two level in the first level i will display the rewarded amount like this okay and it's like uh, 18 text i'm going to make it white and this is the our reward amount i will display that amount is zero okay it's like zero amount and text is white like this okay it's amount is zero right now so whenever we play the video whenever we watch the video so we will get 10 points because we have added that cool so this is also in the test mode like this yes 
go to the block so we have to add that amount so what i will do this is the level 3 so level 3 dot text this one here go to the maths and click on plus sign get the level 3 dot text existing amount and then add that rewarded amount like this here make sure this is the level 3 or not yes this is level 3 cool so we have added all these ads okay it's simple and easy process so let me just show you how it's work okay so let's start so let me just build that apk make sure this will not work the mit app companion you have to create apk file so i'm going to use i'm going to create or build that apk file let's build that apk file so as you can see that's our app here so whenever someone click on display banner ads so let's click on that button and wait some seconds as you can see that test ad is here okay and now let's click on that interstitial ads second one and again let's see see that's the ad here okay you can cross this this is going to be in a full screen cross this as you can see the rewarded amount is zero right now let's play the rewarded ads so click on rewarded ads button and wait some seconds it takes some seconds to load because it's a video this is a rewarded video test ad nice job loading it i'm gonna go fire the reward callback for you so now close this ad and as you can see the rewarded amount is 10 whenever you play again this so you will get again 10 amount okay let's try this click on this, this is a rewarded video test ad nice job loading it i'm gonna go fire the reward callback for you close this yes and as you can see the rewarded amount is 20 so you can save that amount in your database okay so that's the overall app okay so make sure whenever you try to build the apk file okay whenever you build the apk file or ab file make sure you have to uncheck that test mode okay otherwise you will not get the real money okay so make sure this unchecked all these ads and then build the apk file and then try that ads so if you need any help on that so just comment on the video i'll try my best to solve your problems thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe my channel like this video and share this video have a nice day be safe bye bye